Hey, as usual, I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd make a quick up close and personal video, which depending on how long you've been watching my channel, you may or not remember from who knows how long ago that I started making videos and I would make up close and personal videos where I just talk about what's going on in my life. So welcome back. <laughs> So I figured i bring that series back because it's an easy way to tag my videos and if you're not interested in my personal life, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> so even though I made my last video about four months ago, I was probably in communication with some of you up until March of this year. Um, and for those of you that weren't, that's because you're not signed up to my newsletter, so please go ahead Actually, I don't know if you can sign up to my newsletter right now because my website is down. Um, <laughs> so if I figure out how you can sign up to my newsletter, go ahead and do so and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait until I rebuild my website. As you may or may not know, I stopped making stuff in March, I think, because I had my first fight coming up and um, I can't even believe that I actually did it. <laughs> which was crazy, amazing, and terrifying all at once. And I do want to make a video specifically about my first fight because, well, especially because I lost and I'm really pissed off about that, but also because I feel like I do want to share that with you guys. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my fight in another video. Um, but that's the biggest reason why I stopped sending emails because um, I was someone on a good roll sending videos on a weekly basis or semi-weekly basis but that was the biggest reason why I put a pause to that and then in the middle of getting ready for my fight I moved to a new apartment you probably can't tell but I'm, I'm in a new place um, and so I just literally finished setting up my place in the way that I like about a week or two ago and setting up like my painting room. Well, I only have, it's a studio, so I only have one room, but this is like my painting area of the room. And as you will see in future videos, cause I have my easel right here and I already shot on video that I'm gonna upload, but I just have to edit it. And uh, what's it called, do the voiceover. So look out for that one. Oh, and the other reason why I haven't picked up on the making new stuff is because um well number one because i was really pissed off about my fight so i focused even more on my training which um i already train every day so if you can imagine that i put more focus you know more mental focus on my training so that i can do better in my next fight um i guess the point i'm trying to make is that it takes a lot of mental energy and you're freaking tired. I didn't realize, I never, it's kind of dumb, but I never really thought of how tiring it is to be an athlete. Some of you may or may not know, depending on how long you've been watching my channel, I actually was a dancer all through high school and most of college, and I would train up to two to four hours a day, and I was nowhere near as tired as I am training kickboxing if I just train one hour and a half a day, let alone if I if I train more, even if it's just like 15 minutes more, it's super tiring and I'm not complaining. Please don't write in the comments, well, stop training. I'm just explaining why that takes up so much of my mental space at times. And being that I am 30 and I do feel like it's worth, kickboxing is worth being the priority because I only have a short amount of time in which I'm going to be young enough and crazy enough to attempt this newfound passion and I just want to see how far I can go, I want to see how strong I am um, and so yeah that's why I sometimes take now a little bit longer to make videos or write posts um, but yeah like I've said I love making videos, I'm not going anywhere hopefully actually you come along with me over to my website once it's back and running because um, I love to communicate with you guys through my newsletter. I am posting more 
a lot more stuff than what shows up on YouTube. I'm posting paintings. Sometimes I just want to write a short thing and I want to send it, I want to post it on my website. Those of you guys that want to stay in touch with me more, like I said, I may post my somehow a link to my newsletter down here in the description of the video at some point when I edit this. Um, because like I said in my past few videos, I am I am posting a lot of stuff, like even with from the time that I stopped my fight till now, right now is July 10th. I've made a bunch, well a few, <laughs> I made a few Instagram posts, I made like two or three new paintings, and if you're interested in that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, go ahead and sign up to my newsletter. God, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this video to be like a fucking ad for my newsletter. I don't know why I just keep bringing that up. <laughs> but I just feel like, I feel bad that I make stuff on other mediums, in other mediums, and that some of you guys don't get to see it. And if you are a person that wants to, then I would like you to have access to it. Anyway, another cool thing that happened was back at the beginning of May, I had my first like group exhibition in a gallery, like in a real life, real life gallery. Um, and it just happened out of nowhere. I literally was asked by a friend like, hey, um, I saw this like gallery, gallery's Instagram post asking for submissions. You should sign up for it. And I did, not expecting really to get chosen. And I did. <laughs> so I was like, yes. And especially after losing my fight, that was like amazing. I felt like at least something I'm doing is working at this point. <laughs> and I've been working now on painting since 2013. So I've been painting for now for three consecutive years, not three, six consecutive years. And so for those of you guys that are also making paintings or any other kind of art form, don't worry if it doesn't happen right away because it took me six years to even have like one showing. I want to show you guys the painting that was in the gallery show. Um, this is my We Are Number the 1%, which I thought it was not going to get chosen because it was like, you know, out there and kind of possibly be looked at as controversial. But I think that that's probably why it got chosen. Um, and it actually let me know that there are people that like my art to be political, so I feel like really enthusiastic about that now. Because um, at first I just felt like no one probably likes it, but that made me feel like, okay, there are gonna be people, be people that like it, I just need to master my own style. And so, having said that, that's the reason why I took my website down, because I felt like I think I've kind of talked to you guys about this in many other videos um, that I have a hard time kind of putting all my talents together and in the past I've struggled a lot wondering should I have three different separate YouTube channels, should I have two different, three different Instagrams, you know, kick, I got kickboxing, I got painting, I got the more socially conscious, uplifting, revolutionary wannabe talking videos, how do those all three to go together? And now I finally feel like they're starting to come together. Like I mentioned in one of my last videos, I was finally able to like somehow include my paintings in my videos. Um, and then finally I'm able to kind of include my voice, my like socially conscious slash revolutionary voice in my paintings. And I feel like kickboxing is totally related. I've told you, I think, before because I feel like kickboxing is teaching me how to be strong. Clearly, I'm not at where I need to be because I couldn't win my fight. But that's it's a process, too. Just like I've, I was sucked at art at first. I sucked at painting. I just kept trying, kept trying, got better. So I'm not afraid that I lost my fight. I, I don't care that I lost. I care that I didn't perform as well as I should have. Anyway, I will tell you all about this in my video. And I do have um, footage of my fight, so I'll show a little bit of footage when I make that video. 
And the reason why I didn't make it immediately was because it actually took me a while to kind of process everything. And I didn't even write about it in my own journal until very recently at the two month mark, almost exactly. So I couldn't really like sit here and make a video for you guys um, because I couldn't even like write about it for myself. So now that I can, and now that I have, I will be making that video shortly, soonish. <laughs> okay, I never got to why I took my website down. The reason why is because once I had that art show, I felt like, oh my God, like this could actually be real. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys at all my story with painting, but the reason I started painting was because at the end of my senior year um, of college, like my wrist started hurting. I was typing a lot. Um, I, you know, I was writing essays for classes, papers. I was writing applications. I was in um, in this like fellowship, so I was having to constantly write to other professors and putting together like statements. And uh, I was working at the time an administrative job at school for, and so I was like always on the computer, always on the mouse. At that time, I was. Uh, heavily making videos if you're if you used to watch my videos back then in 2013 or 2012 I was making videos all the time because I was bored at school and so my wrist started hurting and um I think I might have told you already I randomly went into into the museum I saw paintings I remember I used to paint when I was a child and I felt really dumb forever having stopped so I started painting and obviously if I wasn't painting I wasn't typing so my wrist slowly started getting better and I didn't really even study painting or think about it as like a career or anything like that I just totally did it out of nowhere I was like oh yeah you know I used to do this when I was a kid why don't I keep going and see how good I can get in the future well Fast forward like two or three years, I actually had co-workers buy two paintings from me. And that's when I was first like, oh my god, like people would actually pay me for this? So let me actually get better. <laughs> and I started going to classes and, but I still, to this day, I still haven't sold an, another painting yet. But you know, that enthusiasm kind of went down a little bit. Um, but with when I had this art show for the first time, I that enthusiasm has been renewed. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that I want when somebody when somebody goes on my website, I want them to see all of my arts combined. And so you know, I took it down, and also for more personal reasons, which like I felt like you know the hosting company was charging me way too much and then I found this other hosting company that was charging less so anyway the point I'm trying to make is that I'm just trying to rebuild my website to like fully represent myself as like one thing I don't want to have a million websites I don't want to have a million social media pages for every single one of my arts because I feel like they go together and if you as a viewer don't want them to go together or watch them all then you probably are just not gonna watch me and that's fine and I only feel like as I progress they're just gonna intertwine more and more because that's what I'm aiming towards and just like now I'm in this weird space where I'm making painting videos and I'm making socially conscious or I don't even know what to call them videos and etc etc they're just merging together and I'm having a really hard time putting that website together so my website has been done for like a month <laughs> so I actually want to ask you guys if you would be so kind to please write in the comments and let me know why you watch my videos and or what makes you continue to watch my videos or whichever form of media you follow me in and I want to make it clear I'm not asking for compliments I don't want you to write me like compliments I just want to understand how people perceive me and what makes you watch again because the reasons that I think that people would even want to watch my stuff may not be the reasons why you actually watch. So it would really help me out to kind of understand how people perceive me if you leave me a comment. Oh yeah, the reason I'm making this video right now is because I actually I'm not training for kickboxing because I broke 
Well, I didn't break my toe. I fractured it, which means it just didn't break all the way. So I can't train. I've spent the last two weeks not training. It really sucks. I feel really depressed. Not... I feel like I just, no, I don't feel depressed, I just feel really bored and like I just want to eat everything I see and it's not because I'm hungry, it's because I'm like, ugh, I'm just bored and I just need to like keep myself entertained, um, which is not the right thing to do, so don't do it. <laughs> uh, it's It sucks, but, so yeah, that's why I'm making this video. I usually at this time, I'll be eating dinner, I'll be getting ready for kickboxing, but I actually got out of work early because I had to go to the doctor to get an x-ray. Um, this was like my two-week checkup and my toe is still fractured. It still hurts uh, I'm doing a lot better. I can move now like this totally going from one foot to another totally hurt like the the day the night that I broke my toe <laughs> and then morning after I literally could not walk to my kitchen or to my bathroom without like hobbling like that's how I knew it was so there was something wrong and how I hurt my toe was that I did that karate kick kick and I was aiming for somebody's stomach but um landed on their elbow unfortunately and I saw their arm like I don't know if you can see like the elbow right here I I was with a bigger training partner and I saw they had their arms right here and I should have gone for a different kick but unfortunately I went up for that karate kick, aiming for the stomach, but it actually never got to the stomach. It it was like landed on his elbow. And because he was a bigger training partner, I was hitting like full force. And I my foot was coming up and it came up into the elbow right on my pinky. And it, because it's a bigger person, you know, it's a bigger elbow, so it just it hurt it hurt pretty badly but I was more freaked out than anything else because my toe did not look like my other toe immediately first of all it was swollen so it kind of looked like a like a red potato and then it also was like off to the side and so I, I knew deep down inside that something was most likely wrong like more than just like a bruise because I've kicked people's elbows by mistake before and yeah it hurts then there's a bruise and maybe your muscle might gonna get cramped up for a little bit but I've been fine I can I usually just go to practice the next day and it's fine and I massage it and like back to normal but I knew that night something was wrong and um, so anyway the whole point of that was that yeah I'm gonna have a little bit more time to Hopefully, make more stuff. Um, I still can't train. Probably, I'm going to estimate for the next two to three weeks max. The doctor said that they're going to check me in four weeks. But there's... My foot has healed so much in two weeks that I really doubt it. That I'm going to need four more weeks. But, you know, I won't know for sure where my foot is at or where my toe is at uh, in terms of health until four weeks from now. But of course, as long as as soon as it stops hurting, I'm gonna go back to training <laughs> because, that, like I said, I miss it. I'm really annoyed that I can't train. The worst part about not being able to train is the mental frustration. Um, and I, I actually never got hurt in ballet. I I did get hurt once or twice. I sprained another toe, but again, I literally just went back to dancing, and I didn't really care. But um, obviously a fracture is a more serious um, injury so I have to actually just sit out so I don't prolong the injury by re-injuring it so yeah it's just really frustrating I still go to the gym and watch my teammates um, train and um, you actually learn a lot by watching and so I just feel like you know I'm just unfortunately watching from the sidelines right now but it's also a good opportunity to finish putting together my website and making more videos for you guys because I know that I want to continue and I wish that I could make them more often but I will hopefully be back to that level one day in the future so anyway that's really all I have to share with you guys today thank you for watching if you still are like I said 
there are more videos coming up. Um, I have um, how to make like a protest art. I don't know what to call it, but I was gonna name my video protest art. I don't have a video on how to make this one. I have a new video coming up about a new painting. Um, so I'll put. I'll go ahead and edit that and this as soon as I'm done recording. And also another curious and outrageous outraging. I don't think outraging is a word. Another um, angering thing that is going on right now is the whole um, Epstein news that came out that um, you know this pedophile was basically let go with very little punishment because he has the right connections and I just want to put it out there that everybody that made fun of like Pizzagate here it is like I knew I know I'm gonna sound crazy but I knew when the whole Pizzagate was going on that it was real like maybe the details were not on like maybe it's not going on in a pizza pizza uh, restaurant in DC but there are pedophiles around the world and I'm sure that many of them are politicians and people in power and so I don't know I don't even know why I'm bringing that up it's just um it's one of those conspiracy theories that I really got into when they were going on um and that I really don't think is a conspiracy theory um I'm not really sure unfortunately what we can do to bring somebody like that to justice other than like express your outrage and I don't even know if that's enough but um, that's actually a really sad way to end this video so sorry about that but um, I'm not gonna make a video about that because like I said I don't know how to if how to, what is the right solution other than to turn um, people like that to the authorities when you have evidence and even then like this guy Epstein doesn't necessarily mean unfortunately that they're gonna be brought to justice but anyway it just goes to show that whenever like to me it just goes to show that whenever the media immediately dismisses an accusation against somebody in power or somebody that has connections to people to power the more reason to investigate them and that's what um, that's the only reason why I ever felt like Pizzagate might have some some reality to it because the media and people like in power were so quick to just laugh about it and dismiss it as some crazy thing and then here we go let's see how many politicians come down and people in powerful positions around the world come down because they're implicated in this disgusting pedophile ring I hope they all go down. Um, I hope Donald Trump is the first or the second one <laughs> after Epstein. Anyway, as usual, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. Like I said, I have some more videos um, planned for you guys. Um, I am trying to work on my on finishing my website. Please remember to let me know in the comments as honestly as you can why you watch my stuff or um, what attracts you to it or what stands out to you so that I can kind of understand how to communicate and present myself um, in my website uh, you don't have to if you don't want to but um, and like I said I'm, I'm not asking for compliments I just want to understand how people see me and um, I'll be really thankful and appreciative if you guys do that but anyway I hope you guys are doing well I know it's like a really demoralizing time right now because again still Trump is in power and just like I feel like the past I don't even know it's been two and a half years or something they've been just so like depressing because so many things that are going wrong and we feel like there's nothing to do especially right now with like the immigrant children and families that are being separated at the border tortured sexually assaulted being uh, neglected mistreated humiliated um, be, they're being demoralized like directly demoralized and it just feels like what is there to do um, but in order to feel like we can do something we have to believe that our actions matter so 
hopefully in the next videos that I um, bring you they're a little bit more uplifting as usual um, but you know I just wanted to stay in touch because I like I said I know we're going through a really rough time and sometimes watching videos on YouTube is what makes you feel better and just come back to like feeling like yourself um, I know for me I spend a lot of time on YouTube <laughs> unfortunately is is and I have the people that I go to because I don't know they just help you make help you laugh help you be entertained or think about solutions so hopefully my channel is one of those for some of you guys so i'll see you in the next video like again i'll put all my links in the description and i should have a new video coming up soon thank you